Archaeologists excavating in Acropolis north of Lima have unearthed a 1,300-year-old ornate tomb from the Wari era of Peru. The tomb contains the remains of a high-status man dubbed the Lord of Warmi. The remains of six other people were found in the same tomb, some of which were likely reinterred after first being buried elsewhere. The remains include four adults, possibly two males and two females, and three people who may be adolescents, according to the University of Warsaw's Faculty of Archaeology. The tomb was found at the pyramid-like El Castillo de Warmi, or the castle on the river Warmi. This archaeological site is located on the Peruvian Pacific coast in the Ancash region, about 290 kilometers, 180 miles, north of Lima in the suburbs of the town of Warmi. The discovery team was led by archaeologist Miloš Jirsch, a professor at the University of Warsaw. All the remains in the tomb were buried with gold and silver jewelry, bronze tools, knives, axes, baskets, woven textiles, raw materials for basketry, and wood and leather items and abundance of objects that makes archaeologists think the people buried there were skilled craftspeople, as well as members of the wary elite. We could call this part of the Royal Necropolis the Gallery of Elite Craftsmen, Miloš Jirsch, an archaeologist at the University of Warsaw in Poland who leads the project. For the first time, we have found the burials of male wary elite, who were also fine craftsmen and artists. The queens were buried alongside the remains of 58 other people. Most of the individuals were noble women who may have been interred later, but some were from lower social classes and seem to have been sacrificed. The Wari people lived in towns in the mountains and coast of what's now Peru from about A.D. 500 to 1000. They are famed for their rich tradition of artwork, including gold and silver jewelry, painted pottery, opens in new tab, and vivid woven textiles, opens in new tab. The Wari Empire existed at roughly the same time as the Tawanaku Empire farther south, and the two Andean states were often rivals, according to a 2003 article by archaeologists at Chicago's Field Museum, opens in New Tab. But both the Wari and the Tuanaku empires had collapsed by the time the Inca Empire arose in much the same regions after about a d. 1200. The site near modern-day Warmi features a pyramidal structure known as El Castillo de Warmi, meaning the Castle of Warmi. Researchers have known about the structure since at least the 1940s, but many thought it was largely empty due to grave robbers who had already looted its gold and silver. But the excavations in 2012 and 2013 by Jirsch and Prasadka Jirsch revealed it was an ancient wary necropolis with at least one untouched tomb. The subsequent excavation of the Tomb of the Wary Queens revealed that Castillo de Warmi had once been a large wary mausoleum and site of ancestor worship on the Peruvian north coast, an area that lies on the borders of the world controlled by the First Andean Empire, Jirsch said. The team also unearthed more than 1,300 artifacts that had been buried as grave gifts in the tomb of the Wary Queens, including rich objects made of gold, silver, bronze, precious gems, wood, bone and shells, he said. Jirsch thinks the Lord of Warmi and the other people buried in the newly found tomb may have been members of the Wary elite and highly skilled craftspeople. The golden and silver artifacts deposited with them support this assumption, he said. Both men and women buried in the Royal Necropolis at Castillo de Warmi were directly connected with the highest level of craft production and made the finest luxury goods of their era. As well as an elite necropolis, the finds show that Castillo de Warmi was an important administrative center of the Wari Empire, he said, a place of production of the finest handicrafts in the domain, especially exclusive clothing, metal ornaments, and jewelry. Archaeologist Justin Jennings of the Royal Ontario Museum in Toronto was not involved in the latest study, but he has excavated other wary sites in Peru. He called the latest discovery spectacular, but cautioned that the function of the Castillo de Warmi site during the wary era isn't well understood. It may be that the people buried there were not elite craftspeople, as Jirsch has proposed. These are wonderful pieces, and it's so nice to have these associated with the graves, Jennings said. But the dead don't get to choose what goes into their tombs, their grave goods can reflect what they did in life, but they could also very much reflect other types of messages. He noted, however, that the upper classes of ancient American societies were often also elite craftspeople, most famously the later Maya in Mesoamerica. The Maya elite spent a lot of their time making elite goods, so it's certainly not out of the ordinary, Jennings said. The inclusion in the grave goods of unfinished objects was also notable, he said. I think that does lend some credence to the idea that some of these individuals were involved in the production of things. 
The recently discovered elite wary craftsman not only belonged to the wary ruling class, but he helped build the empire with his own two highly skilled hands.